It is now 1182. The great war Edelgard instigated has swept across Fodlan and looks more grim with each passing day. The Empire struggles to hold Aryan Road to the west and the Great Bridge to the east. The kingdom cannot bring Western lands to heel. Even the Alliance must face changing times. The Central Church sends the Knights of Saros to the Imperial capital to assassinate the Emperor, but fails. Roughly half a year passes before the tides show any true sign of shifting. Scarlet Blaze. Shifting History. 5 months have passed since the attack on the emperor and 1182 nears a close though each army schemes the battle maps barely change but now history is about to resume its course Today is a momentous day in Fodland's history that people will mark for generations to come. Then why do you look so conflicted? <sighs> I'm not conflicted, Claude. I'm just painfully aware of how much stronger I need to be. That's why I'm counting on you and the Alliance to make up the difference. Hey, I've got feeling unprepared down to a science, so... Let's say we help each other out. If we work together, we can achieve what's best for both of us, right? Indeed. I have reviewed the terms, Your Majesty. All that remains is the placement of your seals. Everything looks good to me. I'm especially glad we found a solution to the control of murder. You've done fine work here, Hubert. Thanks. And thanks to you as well, Holst. You know I'm not good at this sort of thing. I've never known you to shy away from ceremonial affairs like this. But it is the most significant pact since the founding of the Leicester Alliance, so your caution was most prudent. I must admit, I was quite nervous. Thankfully, I managed not to follow it up. You surely jest. You did your work masterfully, without batting an eye. I am truly impressed that Lester's most valiant general is so well-versed in diplomacy. Don't be insulting, Hubert. Sir Holst is a duke. A man can be brave in battle and still know how to get things done. Take our Minister of Military Affairs, for example. A man for whom the term looks can be deceiving was likely invented. Speaking of Count Burglies, where is he? I thought he'd be here so we could go head to head. We never did get to finish our battle. I'm afraid the Count couldn't make it, but perhaps you'd consider my bodyguard instead? I'm certain you'll find the challenge to your liking. Is this your first time meeting, by the way? It is. Well, friend, care to go around with me? They say this Holst character is the strongest man in Leicester. But is he as strong as the Ashen Demon? I wouldn't miss it for the world. Now that's what I like to hear. I hope you mean later and not this very second. It would be a shame to get blood all over this nice paperwork. Yes. All eyes are on us. We must make this a grand gesture and show our soldiers that Adrestia and Lester have joined forces for a brighter future. Well, let's get to it. As leader of all the lords and knights who sit at the round table of the Lester Alliance, I, Claude Von Regan, hereby swear this pact. Lester pledges to work in harmony with the Adrestian Empire and do everything in its power to secure a peaceful future for Fodlan. 
by the covenant between the red blood and the white sword that crowns the double-headed eagle, I, Edelgard von Gressfeld, hereby swear this pact. Adrestia pledges to work hand in hand with the Leicester Alliance to deliver peace to the land and secure a future for all its people. The pact is sealed. And now it is our job to uphold it. Goodness, look how far you've risen. You're standing on the stage of history. I know you'll do great things. Yes, and greater things still. Right then, we've got plenty of bright new faces here at the round table today. First, a brand new Count ruling Gloucester. And Duke Goneril and Count Ordelia have decided that their heirs will sit for them. Unfortunately, Lawrence and Lysithia can't join us due to their responsibilities in the Imperial Army. I called you here to give you notice. The Leicester Alliance is assenting to the Empire's request and sending troops to the Kingdom Front. Houses Regan, Gloucester, and Daphne will be supplying most of the soldiers. And instead of the usual route through Aelel, we'll be invading Fraldarius directly by sea. You're staying behind, right, Holst? Indeed I am. Almira is still an unknown quantity, and we've no idea if or when Prince Shahid might stage another attack. And the same goes for House Ordelia. They've had more than their share of troubles on their border. We agreed that shipping their army away might not be the most prudent of ideas. And that's all she wrote. You'll find the details in the document you've all been given. I wish the kingdom would see there between a rock named Adrestia and a hard place named Lester and throw that white flag high, but of course they won't. So good luck, everyone. I'm counting on you. And so, the Alliance has agreed to bring their troops to bear and attack the kingdom from the east. At the same time, we will resume our invasion from the west using Aryan Road as a foothold. We'll subjugate the kingdom's lords one by one as we work our way toward Blathen. News of the pact will doubtless have spread throughout the kingdom by now. Provided enough houses see the futility in fighting, we may be able to avoid unnecessary bloodshed. However, that is likely wishful thinking. We should instead expect the worst, and prepare accordingly. You think? Some of them already bent the knee to us once, along with Count Roe. Wouldn't they jump at a chance to swap sides again? An idea I am certain has already occurred to the King. Lately we have been scrambling to reorganize, dealing with an attack by the Knights of Seros and negotiating a pact with Lester. And during that time the winds of purgation have swept across Fargus. In one fell swoop, the King has expunged most of the nobles likely to align with us. Still, it's us and the Alliance against him, which means we've got the advantage. What's there to worry about? The concern isn't that we'll lose. It's that winning might come at the cost of too many lives. What an utterly pointless, senseless thing to do. Oh, I find it all so very draining. Whatever our intent, we're the instigators here. We can't expect the enemy to do anything less than defend their land with tooth and claw. Speak for yourself. If someone invaded my territory, I'd hand over lands and titles on a silver platter. Especially if I had no chance of winning. There is truly no other noble like you, Lenard. And perhaps no person at all for that matter. Regardless, we must proceed with caution. When people think someone is after what they possess, they respond with fear, even if the thought is all in their head. 
In the eyes of the people of Fargus, there is no limit to what evils the Empire might visit upon them. My father started saying he can't sleep, because he's scared the old church is coming to Garrett Mock to kill him. From the sound of my mother's letters, he's really shaken up. Remember that the kingdom has much coldness. We must not forget to be bundling up like people of the snow. Our Petra is always ready for what lies ahead. I wish I had better understanding of your Fodlin ways, so I could be giving more assistance to everyone. Don't worry about it, Petra. With all the different factions in this thing, even we have a hard time keeping it straight. <sighs> this almost seems so backward compared to the way things were in Bridget. In any case, the battles ahead will be more brutal than any we have yet fought. Keep a vigilant eye out for both yourselves and each other. That is all. Dismissed. Guess things aren't gonna be so easy anymore. We're under some real pressure to win. What do you think? Right on! Huh? Sorry, me and singing just don't mix very well. Though it did make me feel warm inside, kind of like I was a kid again with my mom. Hey, you do get it! That was a lullaby from a long, long time ago. Nowadays, nobody remembers the lyrics, though. Or sings it to their children, for that matter. A lullaby, huh? I guess that's why it took me back the way it did. But wait, if nobody knows the words, how are you so sure that's even what it is? Just from how it sounds? Well, there was this scholar who researched it a few years ago and said as much. Couldn't tell you if they were right, though. Huh. Honestly, I kind of liked that it didn't have any words. 
That way it can hit you straight in the heart without all that lyrics and meaning stuff getting in the way. I'm glad to hear you giving music a little more thought now. And I'm glad I've had so many chances to listen to you sing. Your voice touches people, Dorothea. Even if they don't have the knowledge to really appreciate the high-level art of it. I mean, look at me. Bottom of the barrel and you still practically move me to tears. Oh, come now. Don't talk about yourself like that. Eh, it doesn't really bother me. And I'm not wrong, am I? No birth parents, no real background to speak of. The whole wandering Merc gig, it is what it is. <laughs> That's quite the positive attitude. I'll have to try a little bit of that myself sometime. In the meantime, I've once again been able to rethink my singing thanks to you. I lost much of my emotion about the craft during my time as a diva, but I can feel it coming back now. Heh. <laughs> you really are incredible, you know that? How do you mean? I don't know. There's just something beautiful about the way you speak. It's like your thoughts come out of your mouth fully formed, almost perfect, and find their way straight into people's hearts. Probably has something to do with all the training you did to become a diva, and all the training you've continued doing since. Meanwhile, here I am struggling to even make proper sentences when I try to talk about your singing. Thank you for the kind words. It, it makes me feel a lot better hearing you say those things about me. But, for the record, I don't think you're bad with words at all. Even your little speech now was the definition of smooth. If I didn't know any better, I'd think you were trying to flirt with me. Have you heard?
some truly cake. Mmm. We have some truth. Mmm. We have some truth. Mmm. We have some truly. Mmm. We. Mmm. We have some truth. Mmm. We have some truly capable people. Come back soon, all right? You've got to be kidding. Oh man. Hmm. Uh huh. Come to think of it. Greetings, friend. Nothing to report. Supplies are the lifeblood of any army. Everything has its use. Listen for a spell. Hey there, need something? Is this it? Construction comes at a high price. Don't neglect your daily studies. My instruction comes at a high price. Neglect your daily studies. Oh. oh. Mm. This isn't a 
choke. Spare a moment. me. Well, this is an interesting turn of events. What a vast landscape. It feels like you and I are the only ones left in the entire world. I hear rumors about my being a mess when I'm drunk, but don't you dare believe them. Thank you. My luck with men is the worst. Or maybe it's just my taste in men that's the problem. tends to keep things bottled up, which means I need to let off steam once in a while. Thank you. I quite enjoyed our time together. See you soon. Wonderful. <laughs> Training can be the difference between victory and defeat. Always strive to improve. I'll have to
빠진 듯. 
Care to make yourself useful? on you both I always get the job done and I'm thorough my sword is yours we all must do our fair share care to make yourself useful on you both very well I will join you sure I'll help we all must do our fair share hunger is the true enemy Solid, solid. Oh, I love this. Thank you very much. Someone knows my weakness. Thanks. Come back whenever you're hungry. Hunger is the true enemy.
Solid, solid. Oh, thanks. Did you know this was one of my favorites? Wow, that hit the spot. I'm so glad we're friends. Come back whenever you're hungry. Hey. <laughs> hey, I was wondering if I could ask you something. I heard that you don't have any parents. Is that right? Yeah. The woman who raised me died, and I don't even know who my birth parents are. That must be tough for you, huh? Nah, it's okay. They all died a long time ago, so I don't feel sad or anything like that now. But I do wonder who I really am sometimes. I don't have even the slightest memory of my birth parents. Well, you might not know who you are. But you still work hard and you keep your chin up through it all. That makes you super strong in my book. Hey, Raphael. Your parents are gone too, right? Yeah. Both my mom and pa died in an accident. Well, then you're just as strong as I am. You work harder than anyone I know, and you do it all with the biggest grin in the world. Of course. It's easy when you love training as much as I do. Hey. I just realized something. We've sure got a lot in common. Our parents aren't with us anymore. We're both commoners scraping our way through this war, and most importantly... What can be more important than that? Both of us have got some serious brawn! I appreciate that, but our body types are completely different. Not sure this really counts as brawn. <laughs> sure. You're a little scrawnier than me, and maybe a lot smarter. But you know, my brain's been getting a constant workout ever since we opened the inn. You have an inn? Oh, yeah. I went home and started one up with my grandpa and little sis once the academy shut down. Running a business like that takes a surprising amount of muscle. Sure, there's regular stuff like hauling things around, but you need brain power too. If you ever want to make a profit, you have to pay real close attention to keeping the books straight. I mostly let my sis handle that stuff, though. That muscle still needs more work for me. Which means I'm in charge of the cooking. But that has its own share of problems. Yeah, it can be tough to find your footing when you switch jobs. Especially if you have to start doing things outside your wheelhouse. Trust me, I've had my fair share of growing pains getting used to the army life. Everything's way different from how it worked with my merc groups. But don't you just fight? That doesn't seem so different to me. Mercenaries tend to get involved in smaller skirmishes as opposed to big battles, and most of them prefer to fight solo if they can afford it. But an army acts as one unit. Coordinating that many people all at the same time is a huge change for me. And there's way more to military work than just plain combat. Stuff like managing resources, making sure everyone has the weapons and armor they need. I don't think I'm bad at math per se, but it's definitely not something I'm used to doing. And the more stuff there is to keep track of, the harder it all gets. Hey! You're not so good at using your brain either! We're practically twins! That makes us pals now, right? I've got your back! So you just keep on working hard, buddy! Right back at ya! Let's keep fighting the good fight! Got a sec. Listen, 
Excuse me. My thanks. Actually, Actuality. Nice one. Hmm. That reminds me. Let's see. Let me think.
Oh, Edelgard. I'm glad I found you. Got a few? Of course. What is it? Well, remember how Hubert laid into me after the Knights of Saros raided Enbar? It got me thinking. What do I need to do for you to trust me again? Nothing. Hubert and I stopped doubting you the moment that business was behind us. You work tirelessly for me, and I'm grateful for that. So please, there's no need to worry. Still, we have no idea when those who slither in the dark might try to interfere again. Honestly, it kind of feels like there's more I should be doing to help. Like I'm just floating around without a purpose or something. Very well. What do you propose? Hmm... If I had to pick something, I'd say protecting you would be my top priority. Everyone's got a bone to pick with you, especially the church and those who slither in the dark. And they won't rest till they have your head. After all, the Imperial Army's not gonna lose if we've got you at the top handing down orders. And I figure Hubert will stay off my back as long as I put my energy into keeping you safe. Then you can lead us to victory, and we'll all live trustfully ever after. Perhaps, but I think you're forgetting something. The only way to protect me is by staying at my side, and therein lies a conundrum. Allowing you that close to me would in itself be proof of my trust, without which you would have never earned such an opportunity in the first place. I know that. Still, I can't help but feel like that's what I've got to do to prove myself to you. Please, Edelgard. Even if it just means shielding you from your enemies. Hmm. Very well. Do as you will. In the meanwhile, I'll tell Hubert... Well, I'm not entirely sure what I will tell him. At the very least, we know those who slither in the dark are able to shapeshift at will. So, in a way, it doesn't matter who I choose to surround myself with. They could just as well turn out to be someone wholly different. Thanks, Edelgard. I honestly could have sworn you were gonna say no. Of course. What I truly want to know is why you'd risk your life just to earn my trust. Do you really have to ask? You reshaped my entire life. Before I met you, I had nobody. I was nobody. But you still chose me, of all people, to command one of your armies. Now, I can't walk down the street without people yelling my name. And I've got a great life, surrounded by amazing friends. All of it possible because of you. That's not true. You would not have earned this post if you lacked the talent. Maybe now, but before you came along, nobody in the Empire gave a Pegasus's backside about talent. You gave me a seat at the table when no one else would. Ah, oh, I see. If you want proof you've changed the world, just take a look at me. Because this guy, he's a whole new person thanks to you. Lifesaver, Mercedes. Could you help me tend to this soldier's wounds next? Lady Mercedes, where would you like me to put this? Oh, um, yes, just a moment, please. You really have your hands full, Mercedes. Anything I can pitch in on? Oh, goodness. I appreciate your offer. But I couldn't possibly ask you to take time out of your day to assist me in these tasks. Hey, don't be like that. Anyone who's still got the legs to stand on after a battle needs to do whatever they can to help. I'm no physician, but I can at least help get some of this stuff organized. But you only just returned from combat yourself. Aren't you exhausted? 
Hey, I could turn that question right back on you. You were there fighting with us that whole time. I suppose that's true. But are you sure you don't mind lending a hand? Sure as anything. Just tell me what to do and I'll be on it before you can even blink. In that case, there's a box over at the training grounds. Would you mind getting it? There should be bandages and medicine inside, so you'll be able to tell which one it is just by opening the lid. Got it. Be right back. Hmm? Oh my! Wait just a minute! What's up? Give me your right hand. Okay... I knew it! You're injured! Here, I can patch this up in a jiffy with my healing magic. Whoa, it's all better. Thanks, Mercedes. You need to speak up from now on if you're hurt, alright? Don't be so nonchalant about your health. Hey, I could say the same thing about... <laughs> Actually, never mind. Anyway, it should be easier to carry that box now. Thanks again, Mercedes. <laughs> no, thank you for offering to help. Oh, and take all the time you need. There's no rush. Ignats? Hello, Lysithia. Do you need something? I wanted to thank you for your actions in our skirmish earlier. You blocked the enemy's approach, which allowed me to maintain my position on the battlefield. I'm very grateful. Oh, you don't need to thank me. Protecting comrades is all part of the job when you're a knight. At first, I thought knighthood would prove to be a task beyond your ability, but you've turned out to be surprisingly dependable. Didn't you come from a merchant family? I sure did. Then if I may, why have you chosen to become a knight instead of taking over the family business? Because I'm the second son. My older brother is going to take over the business. My father wanted me to become a knight so I could help my brother that way. It was a lot to deal with, but in the end, I'm pretty happy with how it all turned out. It's quite commendable to choose a future based on your family's wishes. Oh, it's not so impressive. Your family must have been ecstatic when you were knighted. I suppose they were. To be honest, I am envious of you. You are? I am. I haven't been able to do anything for my own mother and father yet. I hope to be as strong as you and do something equally wonderful for my parents one day. <sighs> You're very considerate of your parents, Lysithia. And I know how hard you work when you set your mind to something, so... I'm sure you can do this, too. Yes, well, if there's anything I can do to help, just let me know. Hmm. Um, that is to say, I certainly will. Thank you. Now, if you'll excuse me, I really should be going. The work of a knight is never done, after all. Hmm. go any results a good result allow me to assist with any matters regarding the facilities
Let me know if I may be of further service. Yes. Shall we? Hmm. I have a strategy. I have... Hey, so hear me out. What if we tried... I have a proposition. Hey, so hear me out. I... I have a strategy. I will endeavor my hardest. Shall we? What do you think? Hey! Do you have a moment? Which battlefield are you headed to? Fight starts now. Hang in there, everyone. We gotta defend this place. We appear to be at a disadvantage. Let us turn the tables. Now it is my turn. There is nothing I cannot do. All right, here I go. There's nothing these muscles can't do! I think this will go well. I'm prepared to see this through. So this is defeat. 
feet. I'm sorry. I think this will go well. I'm prepared to see this through. Now it is my turn. There is nothing I cannot do. It's not over. You shall pay for this, you hear? if I were to die here. Just the beginning. Be glad, for Lawrence Helen Gloucester sings your praises. The stronghold's ours.
I won't let my... Yeah. Just gonna let... We've finished laying out where the troops will be positioned, Claude. But, uh, are you sure about this? Am I sure about what? This isn't even remotely like a standard attack formation. It's like you're going out of your way to limit casualties. Not true. The moment the enemy drops their guard, we'll swarm them like a pack of bees. And if they don't drop their guard? Then I guess we'll just sit here making angry faces at each other. Okay, come on. This strategy is not helpful. Look, just by being here, we're drastically reducing the number of Kingdom soldiers the Imperial Army has to deal with, right? Which means we don't have to kick our troops into action until the Empire has marched further north. Once they're positioned to seize Blathed territory, that's when we'll move. And if it all goes wrong, the losses could have catastrophic consequences for the future of the Alliance. I'm not used to you being so worried about the big picture, Hilda. You've grown. I wasn't going to stay a kid forever, you know. Apparently not. I'm impressed. Look, Hilda, I promise you, your fears are misplaced this time. The Empire's already compensated us for any potential losses, and will continue to do so. You don't think I would have signed that fancy pact if they weren't taking care of us, right? Sure, but are they good for their word? Because I have doubts about that. I want to believe the pact will hold. I really do. But they strike me as folks who won't think twice about sticking an axe between your shoulders if the situation calls for it. Fortunately, I can be pretty ruthless myself when it suits me. If I don't like something the Empire is doing, it might even be me who ends up breaking the pact. If that's supposed to make me feel better, it is absolutely not working. Easy, easy. I'm just throwing out a what if here. Just promise that you'll always have my back, even when things look their worst, all right? I need you. Oh, fine. But only because it's you. A report, Your Majesty. The Imperial Army marches on Western Fargus. Just when we brought peace back to the area, too. We should get ready to provide aid at once. Rodrigue has already been dispatched to Mateus, along with all the soldiers I can currently spare. And I've sent Annette and Gustav to the Baron's side, though if it's for better or worse, is yet to be seen. I don't doubt we'd all ride to the rescue if we could, but that's clearly not possible given the situation. Agreed. Now that Claude's joined up with the enemy, we can't risk doing anything foolish. If we move our soldiers even a breath away from the Northeast, the Alliance will be all over us. All we can do now is divide our forces to keep the enemy in check and meet their attacks as they come. We never should have let this happen in the first place. But who could have seen the Empire and Alliance forming such a union? Bor. Are you seriously going to just stand by and watch? They'll overrun us if we don't stem the tide. Though it smacks of desperation, I'm told the Western Front has enlisted the services of Gerald's mercenaries. They're the same band that carried the battle at Magdred Way, so I hope we can make good use of them again. Is this really the plan? Burn through mercenaries while we hole up here? Do try not to be so grim. The Empire has pushed rapid reforms on the land over these last few years. Not everyone was happy to have such changes thrust upon them, and that includes their new friends in the Alliance. 
The Empire is leaning over the kingdom with such greed that they might yet trip over their own feet. Do you think there will be revolts? I'm certainly not going to plan my strategy around it, but there have been whispers, yes. The old ways must die. With that I agree. But shove that down the people's throats, and you risk breaking the very land you're trying to rule. Yes. We've grappled for years with the aftermath of trying to enact reform. Change is a painful process. But rushed change will set the region to rot from the inside out. I wonder why they're so intent on doing this the quick and dirty way. It's difficult to say. Uh, perhaps were things different, we might have found some common ground, some harmonious way forward. But I've lost too many I care about to this war. Ingrid, chief among them. <sighs> when I think about what they fought for, what they died for, there can be no turning back. training. We have a duty to fulfill. Fight starts now. Hope this is one of those easy wins. Let's keep your wits about. It's Bernie's time to shine. Sure hope this goes okay. There's not a question of can. Leave this to me. So, what's your jerk? This isn't good. Please 
Please let us take this place down! I need somewhere to hide! You shall pay for this, you hear? It's Birdie's time to shine! Sure hope- I will capture this strong man. The stronghold's ours. Please let us take this place down. I need somewhere to hide. Out of the way. This will be amazing. Come on, let's go get another one. Face my comrades after this. Question of can. Only a matter of will. Leave this to me. It's Bernie's time to shine. Sure hope this goes okay. There is not a question of can. Only a matter of will. Leave this to me. Not a problem. I've got this. Uh -huh. 
Right on. The results speak for themselves. Most impressive. I will follow your lead. Let us begin. Not a problem. I've got this. Not a problem. I've got this. There's not a question of can. Won't leave the... Not a problem. I've got... Not a problem. I've got this. There is not a question of can. Only a matter of will. Leave this to me. Not a problem. I've got this. This is all my fault. I almost feel sorry for them. I don't know how long I can hold it. Help me, please. Not a problem. I'm here to help. It's Bernie's time to shine. You need some backup? There's not a question of can. Only a met my w- Gotcha!
The Imperial Army will soon be knocking at our door! Why haven't Duval and Dominic stopped them? Baron, you'll never reclaim the title of Viscount your Lord Uncle lost if you go weak in the knees. Letting yourself be pressured into betraying the kingdom will see you cast out of the aristocracy for the rest of time. And your fickle nature would earn you the derision of both the kingdom and the empire alike. They'll view you the same way they do Count Roe. I care not. I've no interest in going to my grave just because I drew the shortest straw. Uh, sorry to interrupt, but I figured you'd want to know we finished cleaning up the enemy's advanced troops. Excellent. You certainly live up to your esteemed reputation, Captain Geralt. I've never met a more reliable band of mercenaries in all my years. It's a shame we only engaged you for the one contract. I don't suppose we could convince you to extend your term of service. His Majesty the King has heard tale of your exploits. I could arrange for an introduction. Appreciate the offer, but that would mean going to Ferdiad. Hmm. I've got reasons for avoiding that place, so thanks, but no thanks. I see. It will be a shame to lose you, but I won't pry. It's nothing against you or the kingdom, mind you. Then I'll hold out hope we might fight alongside each other again someday. Now, if you'll excuse me, the Baron and I must inspect the camp. Best of luck to you in battle, Captain. You feeling any better? <laughs> I have to say, I'm still not used to this new look of yours. That makes two of us. But it will bother me less once I'm on the battlefield. If you say so. With the war and the state it's in, the Empire is throwing everything they've got at this thing. I don't know if it's that or something else, but I've got a bad feeling. So watch yourself out there. I will. You do the same. Oh, right. <laughs> I've been meaning to give you this. Never used to be without it. Cuts like a dream. I want you to have it. Swords like this are given to captains of the Knights of Saros, and mine was just collecting dust in the band's convoy. That's right. Alois mentioned you used to serve there. That was a lifetime ago. I don't plan on swinging this sword ever again. But are you sure you want to give it away? It must be quite special to you. I'd be happiest seeing you get some use out of it. Thank you. I'll do that. Be good to it, all right? Do you think this might work? We have. I stand ready. So be it.
fight starts now. It is time. Best keep your wits about. Yeah. I've got this. Question of can. Only a map. Leave this. Wounds are severe. I have to fall back. Blood should suffice. You shall pay for this. You hear? That's it for us. You may continue to rely on me. I've got this. Now it is my turn. There is nothing I cannot do. This battle will make a fine stage for my debut. Yeah. Bring it down! Certainly competent, I will give you that. I've got this. I am your man. Bear witness. <laughs> We 
We managed to pull through! Supplies are the lifeblood of any army. Everything has its use. Wow, that was amazing! You really know your way around a sword! Oh, hey, Caspar. You were looking pretty good your... self. Wait, haven't we had this conversation before? I don't know. Must be because you're always sweeping the floor out there. Looks like I've still got my work cut out if I ever want to catch up to you. Wait, you catch up to me? If anything, I'm the one who has some ground to make up. That's nice of you to say and all, but it's not gonna stop me. I'm never slowing down. Anyway, let's get back to training. I'm gonna really knock your socks off this time. Bring it on. Actually, hold on a sec. Come on, what's the big idea? You trying to throw me off my game? Well, that's not it. I was just thinking, we've been training together a lot lately. But if we're doing all the same drills at all the same intensity, then aren't we just gonna get stronger at the same rate? Nobody's closing any gaps, that's for sure. Oh, you do have a point. Yeah, definitely have a point. But you know what? I don't care. You don't? Nope. I mean, I don't want to run off and do some cool secret training without you. Sounds boring if you ask me. Or sort of... cheating? I want to face you head on. Same drills or not, I'm gonna blow past you no problem. Well, you fired up now? Fired up? Friend, I'm the flames. And trust me, you're about to get burned. <laughs> Only one way to find out, and I'm putting my bet down on old Caspar. It's incredible just how focused you are, Caspar. I'm honestly kind of impressed. There aren't many people like you joining up with mercenary groups, I'll tell you that much. Oh yeah? I'd have no idea myself. But hey, let's both give this our best shot. The tougher we get, the quicker we can end this war once and for all. And at the end of the day, that's the goal here. Let's never lose sight of that.
Thank you so much. Come here. That reminds me. Have a spare moment. How can I serve? Another thing. a good result. Bye. 
Follow me, soldiers of the Empire. I will prepare this scarlet path. For the future that's yet to come. There's no stopping me. Let's wrap this up quickly, shall we? I will do all that I can. Right then. Let us go to work. <laughs> I will see my duty done. I will gladly handle this. Orders received. Prepare to be amazed. Go for it! Go to work. Now die! Is that all we've got? Mistakes. They must learn who they're up against. Prepare to be amazed. Go mission secure. <laughs> Your punishment! 
Movement! No distractions! You will not pass me! This is the end! You know what they say about playing with fire. I need your assistance at once! I cannot let my guard... Slip. It's no use. We can't gain any ground. Perhaps this will shift the situation. Would you wait in our favor? favor? Prepare to be amazed. I will gladly handle this. I am here to aid you. Right then. Let us go to what you appear to need is mine. Yes. Huh? We can ill. Wonder before defeat here. That wasn't terribly difficult. It tastes more bitter than black as possible. Of course I succeeded. Prepare to be amazed. Need a hand, dear? Allow me. Anything for Lady Edelgard. Behold your undoing! <laughs> to kill is to grow strong. Here I go. They must learn who they're up against. I will gladly handle this. Right then. Let us go to work. <laughs> I will see my duty done. All would be lost if I were to die here. The spotlight is mine. You can't let it end like this. Allow me. All would be lost if I were to die here. It's not over. I do hope you'll make this fun. You've already lost. I will end you. Let us go to work. <laughs> I will see my duty done. Prepare to be amazed. Go for it. I will gladly handle this. Orders received. <laughs> A mere try. <laughs> Let us go to work. <laughs> Wounds are severe. I have to fall back. How does that please you? You can't let it end like this. You will not fall in vain. All hands. Follow your emperor to glory. Unfurl the flag.
Enter, Enter Manuela. One day. You know what they say about playing with fire. Impressive, aren't I? for me that's the spirit as in all things this victory is in the name of Lady Edelgard <laughs> to kill is to grow Check me out, gentlemen. Strength and... Everywhere you turn, you see another gruesome sight. Look what they've done to the homes, the fields, the people. These bandits are like rats. They're nothing alone, but if you let them band together... I've been here before. It was a long time ago, sure, but I can't believe this is all that's left. Apparently, the first thing they did was find and kill Viscount Prim Standin, along with the rest of the local magistrates. With no one in charge, the bandits have taken free reign of the place. Assassinations too? They've cut us deep indeed. But why were they killing the leaders instead of taking them hostage? Are they not wanting control of the land? It would seem their interest is little more than unadulterated chaos. Someone clearly does not wish Fodlin to be united beneath the Empire's flag. This is a sick way to show it, though I imagine there is a method to their madness. Even I won't let myself run away from a situation like this! We need to restore order as quickly as possible and return to the Kingdom Front. Once I've brought an end to the war, I will never permit something this ghastly to happen again.
them witness our virtue firsthand. I will crush every last gasp of morale from the throats of our foes. United, we are unbeatable. to be amazed. Go for it. I will gladly handle this. Orders received. Here I go. No, they must learn who they're up right then. Let us go to work. <laughs> the spotlight is launched. Stand back. So I have this. <laughs> shift the situation in our favor. Our time has finally come! Prepare to be amazed. Go for it! Right then. Let us go to it. <laughs> I will see my duty done. Allow me. Handle this. Orders received. Here I go. 
No mistakes. They must learn who they're up against. I have it. Stand back. <laughs> Victories stem from love. The future is ours to make. For the... To think I... What if we tried this? I'll show you what a mercenary can do. Another step toward victory. Put me in there and watch our enemies fly! Fight starts now. Watch this! Oh yeah, it's time to fight! If I may. Not a problem. I've got this. So, sure, let's try it. Here I go. No mistake, they must... I will ensure that what needs to be done is done. Yeah! Yeah! 
Not a problem. I've got this. He's more bitter than black as coffee. We did it! I think I'm in trouble here. Out of my way! About time! Take a breather. Well, couldn't hurt. Not a problem. I've got it. Watch this! This place won't be a problem anymore. Here I go. They must learn who they're up against. If I may. Should I be doing again? Sure, let's try it. Can't fight like this. I'm bleeding all over the place. How does that please you? Such resistance was a wasted effort. I'll take this place down before Stand you have time to strap your armor on. This will be amazing. So long. Typically do not show my back to the enemy, but when needs must. So, what should I be doing again? Sure, let's try it. My turn. We'll use this place as a launching point for our next assault. Let's come and swap through the battlefield. Might be time for this. Here it comes! You're dead! I'll take over. Not a problem. I've got it. There are avenues that yet remain open to us. You're finished! That's one of me! Success was to be expected. Here I go. No mistakes. They must learn who they're up against. Here I go. No mistakes. They must learn who they- My potential is so... You shall pay for this, you hear? So... What should I be doing again? Sure. 
Not a problem. I've got... Than I would have liked. Well done, my twin jewels. You never disappoint. This doesn't look good. Behold your undoing! <laughs> I think I'm in trouble here. This'll be amazing! Take a breather. Well, couldn't hurt. Here it comes! Take this! You're down! Luck was on our side today. Won't let my Supplies are the lifeblood of any army. Everything has its use. Oh, there you are, Hubert. I have been searching everywhere for you. And to what end? Has Her Majesty summoned me? Oh, she would never use me for a task like that. I just wanted to thank you, albeit reluctantly. I do not recall having done anything that would merit such a sincere display of gratitude. Well, you probably just saw it as part of your normal administrative duties. You fixed quite a big mistake in my last report before Her Majesty had the chance to look at it. I woke up in a panic when I realized what I had done. Imagine how mortified I was to see you'd already corrected everything. Ah, yes. I may have done something of the sort. As Her Majesty's loyal servant, it is my duty to pare down the number of unnecessary matters which wander across her desk. I must say, I was surprised to see you make such a foolish and obvious error. Have you truly grown so lax, even as you style yourself the greatest of our Emperor's retainers? I'm aware of the mistake I made, but I would never dream of calling myself something like that. Well, perhaps I said it once or twice in the heat of the moment, but I never actually meant it. If anyone is Her Majesty's best retainer, it's you. And without House Vestra's say-so, I could never become one of her servants. At present, I very much doubt you are fit to serve as Her Majesty's servant. Excuse me? It is true that I did not make a conscious choice to serve Her Majesty at first. Instead, I simply did it because my father decreed it must be so. But such bounds no longer define our relationship. I do not serve the Emperor. My loyalty is to Lady Edelgard, and her alone. I stand with her in a manner that goes beyond the bounds of ruler and servant. Do you understand this? 
I want to be like that with Her Majesty as well. But I am only the child of a baron, so I don't have excuses to linger in the palace all the time. I have to return to my family's estate once I've fulfilled my duties for the day, and I get summoned back to our territory often. I am not like you. I cannot just be at her side unless I have a good reason to be there. Indeed. Hawk's territory is in the far west of the Empire. I surmise you have had to spend much of your time away from Enbar. Furthermore, you will be a Baron one day. Your duties will prevent you from dedicating yourself solely to Her Majesty. Exactly. Unlike you, I have an entire territory's worth of people to protect. But I still won't give up. Even from afar. No. Precisely because I'll be afar, there will be things I can do to protect Her Majesty. In fact, always being at her side might actually cause you to overlook threats from time to time. I may even serve Her Majesty in a way you never could. <laughs> that is a promising thought, Monica. So. Fight starts now. Oh yeah, it's time. I'm the fight. I will ensure that what needs to be done is done. A fight hit. Right then, let us go to work. <laughs> Here I go. No mistakes. They must learn who they're up against. So. Shit! They must look. If I may, I take my comrades after this. How does that please you? We'll give it a shot. Here I go. They must. Let us go to work. 
Talk about time! Is that all we've got? Orders have been carried out. What comes next? We can ill afford defeat here. You know what they say about playing with fire. So, sure, let's try it. We weren't Stand strong back. enough. What's next? <laughs> yeah, right. This is all my fault. I still have. Let's carve a swath through the battlefield. Here I go. No mistake. They must learn who they're up against. Not a problem. I've got... Fight like this! I'm bleeding all over the place! That fool could not even see how outmatched they were. I gotta keep up with you. It worked! <laughs> About time! Tight! Is that all we've got? Perhaps this Fight. will shift the Take situation in our favor. Here it comes! Take this! You're dead! A feeble and ultimately futile resistance. I'll win the next one too, if I just stay focused. I won't let my... I imagine this will serve. Who knew this power slept? Supplies are the lifeblood of any army. Everything has its use. For you, nothing but the best for you. Come back soon. I carry a little of everything here. You've got an eye for quality, friend.
Hope to see you again soon.